Mo pa na gamayin buntag and good morning everyone. I sat here again. Well, I'm sitting here again and it's been a while since I talked about nursing. You must be wondering, where have I been? What have you been doing? I would want to explain, but then again, who cares? Why would we care with what other people think? Isn't it, guys? <laughs> We shouldn't care about what other people think. Let's do what we want. Let's stop if you want to stop. Let's have a break if we want to have a break. Let's eat if you want to eat. Anyways, we're in lockdown. Keep telling yourself that, dog. And always, always, guys, remember that other people will judge you. But you're living not to impress them. So just do what you want. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm on a holiday because as I have announced, I think it was like a few months ago. I'm not sure, but I did announce that Tomorrow, which is Saturday, I'm shooting this right now. It's the 22nd of May. It's Friday. So tomorrow, I'm supposed to get married. But because of this lockdown, our wedding is postponed. But we need to move on. Life must go on. I'll just get married eventually. And who knows, the next time you see me, I'm a missus already. But let's proceed to the content of this video. Enough talk. I don't know what I'm fighting for here. But I just really want to release some good vibes. I'm not listening to you. You're crazy. I want to share some positive vibes and also some thought for the week. It has been a while since I had the time to speak in front of you guys again. So I think I already shared two thoughts, which is first, don't care what other people think. And the second thing is we must just stand up and move forward to whatever life brings us or gives us. So life goes on. Right. So I went out for a walk um the other day and I was supposed to shoot afterwards. <laughs> Guess where we are right now, or guess where I am right now because I'm all alone. It's I think 20 to 23 degrees here in Newcastle, and I'm actually in the park, so I'll show you how it looks like here. So it's quite quiet, I would say. So people are doing their social distancing measures, avoiding each other. Although, I could see a group there from that side who isn't. But who knows, maybe they're in the same household. I don't want to judge. But yes, so basically guys, this week I'm on holiday because I was supposed to have a special event this Saturday. But then because of the lockdown, because of what's happening, it got all cancelled. Oh my gosh, my double chin is growing. I just cover this. So I'm in the park right now. Just getting a walk. I decided to vlog again. And I don't want to disappoint you guys. My goodness. I'm gonna end this video right here. Because I need to go home. It's almost lunch time. It's almost 12 noon. And I need to have my lunch. Do the laundry. And then maybe we'll have a talk. We're home. We're home. Yes, we're home. Let's get a shower first. But then I got tired and also got caught up. As you all know, I'm active. Well, I'm more active on TikTok nowadays. So I like it. Don't judge me. But it keeps me entertained in this worrying period while I'm here in my room all the time. So that's why I haven't been vlogging. And another thing is... Alright, so... I'm just adjusting the brightness. I don't know. It's been a while. Again, it's been a while. I don't know how to speak in front of the camera again. So, so, yes. Yes, let's move on. <laughs> right, so as I was saying, I had a walk and I did say that I'm gonna share something afterwards. So, I'm doing it today. And today, we're gonna share updates about nursing here in the UK. I know it's been a while and you're probably thinking, is UK still hiring nurses? Is the UK still accepting overseas nurses? And I am here right now to share what I know with regards to updates. But don't get me wrong, guys. Some of this is based on my understanding. Understanding. And if I do say something which you think is a bit sketchy or is not actually what the update it was supposed to mean, maybe I understood it the wrong way. So please do correct me or let me know on the comment section down below so that we do not give wrong information as well to our 
viewers. So help me out. So this information that I'm gonna give you is based on the NMC website. I'm gonna put their link here again in the description box down below so you can check it for yourself. So this update was last updated by the NMC on the 4th of May 2020. So it's quite recent. And first thing is regarding the CBT or the computer-based test. So CBT tests depends on the availability of the testing center and the national restrictions by the government depending on where you are. So let's say in the Philippines, I'm not sure whether it's open or not, but they do have a website, not website, but they do have a link where you will be directed to the Person View website or you can go to the Person View website straight away to actually check whether they are available. So that's the first one. The second one is regarding the OSCE. So for the OSCE, unfortunately, right now the OSCE centers are closed so they are suspended until further notice and if your OSCE has been cancelled all you need to do is to contact your trust and your recruiter and it says here that you can actually rebook this but because again of this lockdown they are not sure or they couldn't give the exact date of when you can rebook the OSCE test in the meantime while you are stuck on the OSCE let's say you are already here in the UK or you are about to come here you've passed CBT you've passed IELTS so you're on the process of coming here to the UK, it does say here that you can contribute to the health and social care workforce in an unregistered capacity. So I'm assuming that you can still work as a nurse here in the UK, but you are not yet registered because of course you haven't passed the OSC yet, but you can still contribute and work for the trust as a non-registered nurse or I would say a pre-registered nurse because that's how they called us before we actually passed the OSCE. Right, so you must be asking next. Now, I passed the CBT but I couldn't take the OSCE. However, the CBT has a validity period. So what's gonna happen about this validity period? So apparently, NMC is extending this for the next six months. So I have the dates here. The dates here says that if the result that you have is expiring between 1st of March 2020 and 31st of August 2020 then they are extending it by six months so that's good news at least you won't need to worry about the OSCE until the next six months because of this virus but of course take the time to actually train yourself and while you're experiencing pre-registered nursing make sure that you still don't forget about the test and so at least you can still practice prepare yourself for the OSCE as soon as you are allowed to take it because you don't want to be just chilling around you know enjoying your life not thinking of OSCE but then suddenly they say all right OSCE you can take it you need to take it now and then panic strikes you straight away because you haven't been preparing for it So still prepare for it guys. I would take it as an uh, extended period for you to prepare. At least when that day comes you're in the zone and you're pretty sure that you can actually pass it. So, where were we? So, yes. So, don't worry whether your CBT is expiring because the validity is extended for another six months. And also, the good thing there is you don't need to contact them. They are just extending it straight away for you. So, you don't need to do anything. That's what it says here. But if I'm in your place, I would be worrying. I know you won't be able to help it. But that's what it says here. I'm assuming you can check your validity if you log into the website, to the NMC website. So, make sure you check it. And and if it hasn't been updated, then do contact NMC. Next one is temporary overseas registration. So as I mentioned before that let's say you were stuck in the Philippines, for example, but you already passed CBT, you already have the IELTS, you are actually in the middle bits of coming or your process of coming to the UK is nearing. And also let's say you're stuck here in the UK and I didn't mention this before as well, but you couldn't take the OSCE yet. So again, NMC is still accepting temporary registers for overseas nurses. So they started this on the 6th of April 2020 and they are still accepting nurses to come here to the UK to join the COVID-19 temporary register. So you can come in here to the UK, work as a pre-registered nurse and then OSCE will just come afterwards. So you don't need to worry about that. They are still asking for nurses to come in here to the UK. And that answers part 2 of our update. Is UK still hiring 
overseas nurses? The answer is yes. They are still hiring overseas nurses. Again, you will just have to go through the process that I told earlier. You might be stuck with OSCE. You won't have OSCE yet. CBT, you can still take it. If you can still take it, let's say there is available, there is an available testing center near you, then that's good news. You can still take it and you can still ask your agency to help go through the process to come in here to the UK and then you will just have to worry about OSCE when it becomes available. So for the Philippines, I'm not sure whether which agency is still hiring but regarding my agency before and I am not paid to promote them but I am sharing and I am promoting them out of my own choice because they helped me achieve my dream so ASC Global Recruitment as I have checked is still hiring nurses so let's visit their website so their website guys is this one ASC Global Recruitment and as you can see they're still well they are now open so Let's see what's the latest update here. So the latest update, they are hiring Central London Community Healthcare NHS Trust. So that's good news. So that is in London. And they've done the interview already on the 19th of May. This just really proves that UK is still hiring. So also it says here that they do online career orientation. So guys, just visit their website so that you would be updated about the news or you'll be given updates about nursing here in the UK. And let's see here. Yeah, they do have an announcement as well. But don't flock their offices, guys. Don't go to their office straight away. Because I'm assuming majority of them still works at home. So just give them a ring or email them. I'm pretty sure they would reply. So yes, they are still hiring as far as I know. It says here. And that's actually good. So there you have it. That's my answer. I know it's not really like a straight fact answer. But we have the proof they are hiring and yeah just give them a contact and let them know that you really really want to become a nurse here in the UK right guys so I just received an update from Sergio so shout out to Sergio for this help for letting me know about this update so basically they are still hiring nurses for the UK so they're still hiring and as I mentioned before you're gonna come in as a pre-registered nurse and following the NMC rule you will be a temporary register you will be joining the temporary register to join the COVID-19 healthcare workforce. So you're gonna come in here and become a temporary registered nurse until the OSCE will be able to take examinees again and you know do the testing process. However, for the case in the Philippines, although they are doing this process, they are hiring nurses, the deployment is still suspended. So yes guys, that is the latest news. The deployment is still suspended. That is based on the government in the Philippines and apparently that is the rule now so until the deployment until the suspension of the deployment will be lifted you can come in here to the UK but I would say there's nothing wrong about doing your application sorting out your stuff right now since most of it I assume will be online so the interviews would be online in ASC Global Recruitment, they're doing online interviews and as long as you have the requirements, you can apply through NMC online again and if there are available CBT testing centers online, you can go and get it and at least, you know, once this lockdown is over and deployment is resumed, you can come in here to the UK straight away. So if you still want to come in here and again, if you want to be updated, please do visit the ASC Global Recruitment website, ask them for details and I'm sure they will help you reach your dreams as much as they help me reaching my dreams. So deployment again will be based on our government, our Philippine government. As soon as they give a go signal to the deployment, then you're good to go, I assume. So please do ask for information to the appropriate agencies. Again, ASC Global Recruitment for me. So the third update, we will go back to the NMC website. It is regarding the visa. So for the nurses who are here in the UK and you need to renew your visa. This is probably late news but I'm just gonna share it anyway. On the 31st of March 2020, UK Visa and Immigration announced that they will extend some visas until the end of the year. I don't know what they mean by some but do visit their website, do visit their link because as far as I remember, I do have friends who actually have to renew. I'm not sure whether their visas were automatically extended but if it says here then that's good news. So speaking of visas, speaking of entering here in the UK, so yesterday, Thursday, the government announced that they are waiving the NHS surcharge fee for the overseas or the foreign health and care, health and care 
stuff. So basically, what I know about the health surcharge is that we need to pay this when we come into the UK and we also have to pay it obviously when we, when we renew our visa because it goes to the NHS Trust. Basically, it helps the NHS and at the same time, it allows us to use the National Health Service. So now, I mean, yesterday, they have announced that we are finally not paying this. So this will really benefit those nurses or those healthcare staff, foreign healthcare staff who are about to come into the UK or who are going to renew their visas. So before, I think it was just 400 and they were actually planning to increase it by 224 pounds. So it was going to become 624 pounds every year. Am I right? Every year. Correct me if I'm wrong. But then it is definitely a good news when they decided to waive it yesterday. So if you want to know more about this, please do visit the gov.uk website in order to find out more about this surcharge, about this health surcharge. So I'm looking at the website right now and there's nothing here that says about it being free yet but I'm pretty sure they will be updating this soon because the announcement was just yesterday. So please do update yourself guys using the website www.gov.uk. Again, I'm gonna put their link here in the description box below and also the NMC article where the updates are found. I'm gonna put it here down below as well. So do do check it out. So there you have it. I hope you like this random update and this chaotic info. <laughs> I find it chaotic because honestly guys, this is so random that I haven't actually written down in order what to say or what to share to you. I'm just like randomly looking on my phone. I really wanted to speak straight away because it has been a while since I've been talking about nursing. So although it is like that, I hope you still like it. And if you did, hit thumbs up, comment down below if you want to tell me something, say anything, or suggest anything. Don't forget to follow my TikTok and also 